and Skokie Yellow Line services suspended for the rest of the evening. Passengers are being bussed instead. Weather is suspected of knocking out power to the train's track signal system. Again, Yellow Line service suspended for the rest of the evening. Meantime, CBS 2's Audrina Begas got a look at how powerful that storm was. She joins us tonight from Garfield Ridge on the southwest side. Audrina? Rob, can you imagine coming home to this? Most of your roof, your siding, your insulation, all of that scattered across your front yard here. Fortunately, the homeowner wasn't here when this damage happened, but his surveillance cameras caught it all. Surveillance video shows the rain pick up as the storm rolled through this Garfield Ridge neighborhood. And then cameras caught the moment the roof flew off and landed in the front yard. Honestly, I'm so in shock. I didn't expect it to be this much. The homeowner got the call. Yeah, your roof is missing. The chimney's gone. Shingles all over the place tonight as crews work on his roof. There's puddles of uh, water through all the bedrooms, the four bedrooms on the top and the two bathrooms. So there's quite a bit of damage. Luckily, no one was home, but his neighbor was. A little storm came through and wind was blowing really hard and there was hail. This is Mary Galvin's car. It was parked on Lotus and Archer, now a branch through the windshield. Just a lot of damage from a little storm, you know, like a five minute storm, if anything. I know it just happened so fast. It did. It happened really fast. In South Suburban Joliet, rains were so powerful you could barely see across the street in this neighborhood. Officials closed roads after power lines were knocked down and poles ripped in half. Crews have gone home for the night, but this damage will be cleaned up in the morning. The good news is these homeowners, no one here in this neighborhood was injured. Live in Garfield Ridge tonight, Audrina Begas, CBS 2 News. Rob. Yeah, that's the good news for sure. Thanks, Audrina.